We are back in the lab and um, today we are going to go change the oil pan for the 240. Um, I have a leak coming from the gasket area from where the oil pan meets the upper oil pan. So we're going to go ahead and swap that out for the Tomei oversized oil pan and hopefully everything goes well. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get to it. I already jacked up the car. Uh, I saved the time. I didn't, you know, you've seen me do this numerous times. Um, so it's already up in the air. I got it on jack stands. We're gonna go and drain the oil first um, since that's what you want to do so that your oil pan is not filled with oil um, Because then the next step after draining the oil is to knock the oil pan off of the um, upper oil pan and um, You don't want to have that thing full with oil because once you knock it and break the seal You'll have oil spewing everywhere all right, so in order to change the oil pan, you got to drop the oil pan first, but in order to do it, you have to drain the oil because when you drop the pan, you don't want to have a bunch of oil everywhere. So I already drained the oil. Um, as you can see from the camera, it's really like shiny over here. Only because I have a leaky oil pan like gasket, I guess you can say. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change that out um, to the Tomei oversized pan and then hopefully relieve this problem of this oil pan uh, leak that I have and also the condition of the OEM oil pan is, it's been pretty beat up as you can see a couple rust spots and a couple dings right here um, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that by putting the brand new oil pan so we're just waiting for the oil to go down and drain out of the pan and then from there we're gonna start um, taking the bolts out and then I'll show you how to drop the pan without messing up the upper oil pan. Alright, so we got all the bolts out. Um, it's kind of hard to get the back three. Um, I think if I drop my uh, front subframe, I'll be able to get a little bit more clearance. Um, just because the subframe has a little lip and you're not able to get back there. Um, I used a uh, quarter inch extension to feed through the lip area, which is right here. So this is the subframe. And then this right here is the power steering cooling line. Um, so I pretty much used like a quarter inch extension and went through in between there in order to access the three bolts. Um, I'm thinking if I just drop my subframe a little bit, probably a couple millimeters or so, I'll be able to get back there uh, to screw the bolts in by hand and then finish it off with that quarter inch. So I think I'm going to be able to do that. Um, but first, in order to knock out the pan, um, I normally get like a wood block and I just start hitting the corners so one right there one right there and then I'll go to that corner and that corner and I'll just hit it uh, the wood block will be on the oil pan and then I'll hit the wood block with like a rubber mallet um, just to break that seal and then once you break that seal you should be good to go as far as uh, being able to put the oil pan uh, it being able to take the oil pan without having to gouge up that mating surface um, from the upper oil pan so we're going to go ahead and knock that out and then once I get that off I will show you uh, the next step. Pretty much I'm just going to let it leak out as much as I can. Um, I might let it leak out overnight just so that I can get a clean surface to put that RTV gasket on the oil pan so that I don't have any more leaks. So I might just let it leak out right now. Alright so pretty much what, I'm, what I was describing to you guys was all you got to do is just break the uh, seal loose. So all I did was pretty much put a wood block right here and then mallet away with the uh, rubber mallet and then also here here and then you know anywhere where you can have a good little spot um, the idea is is that the wood is softer than the metal so that the uh, the wood actually takes more of the the dent or the force if you're planning on reusing your oil pan um, so as you can see that that right there is a dent from the uh, oil pan itself on the wood so I didn't really dent it up um, so that's a cool little trick. Uh, like I said, most of the guys um, will just shove flathead. And um, that works. But the thing is, is that the softer material of this aluminum here, what happens is that that flathead will leave a score on the, uh, on the mating surface. And any imperfection on the mating surface will cause you to uh, pretty much leak out every single time you put the oil pan on only because you know that surface will not be able to be a flat surface so um, 
advise not to do that um, just because you're gonna hate life and have to redo it potentially you know and if you do able to seal it it'll leak eventually um, but yeah so I already have it loose as you can see there it is has a little movement so um, I'm gonna drop the oil pan off camera I still want my camera to get wet um, and then from there uh, we will drop the pan I'm gonna let it leak out I have a, uh, a drip pan over there so I'm just gonna let it leak out overnight um, just because I want to make sure I get all the oil out as well as um, I'm gonna shoot some brake clean in there to clean up some surfaces and just inspect the uh, under part of the engine to make sure everything's cool I should have did this a long time ago when I had the engine out um, but I didn't so now I'm hating life having to do it while it's in the car um, it is doable as you can see um, the only potential thing I see that can give me a trouble right now is being able to bolt the bolt up here as you can see it's a really tight fit here a fingered one doesn't even fit so I will work on that when it comes to uh, the time to put the screws on but this is what I use it's a quarter inch extension I was able to feed it through the oil pan as well as to get the bolt so I was able to do that um, so we're gonna go ahead and just let it leak out I'm gonna do it off camera once I have this off I'll show you exactly what it looks like uh, be careful not to um, pull left and right um, because there is an oil pickup here so you don't want to ding up your oil pickup so what we're going to do we're going to gently pull it down now now that, it, now that it's loose we're going to gently take it off and then um work from there so let me get everything set up and then once i get the oil pan dropped i'm going to show you what it looks like all right so oil pan i just dropped it and um everything looks okay um there's some areas right here i know i don't you won't be able to see it but uh the paint that's coated on the inside of the oil pan um, from the dents on the bottom you can tell that it's kind of like chipping away from it mushrooming and uh, expanding that paint uh, layer so it's a good thing I probably did it um, just because I don't want that floating around in the oil the oil pan looks alright I'm gonna show you what the pickup looks like once uh, I clean up the mess that I did when I dropped the pan um, but uh, besides that, I mean, it's a pretty good pan, I would say, from the inside. But the outside, it's pretty much haggard. So um, pretty much, I'm going to go ahead and start scraping off the old gasket on the upper oil pan. And then um, I'll go ahead and prep that guy out. Uh, I have an issue with one of the bolts. Um, it's like hard to get to. Um, only because the subframe has a lip that is blocking me from like you know being able to hand thread some of the bolts pretty much the middle bolt I believe it's this guy yeah hold on yeah so that middle bolt right there I have a sub the sub the front subframe that holds the engine pretty much like is in the way so it's like I can't get to that bolt um, I'm able to get it and back it out since it was you know already threaded in but the issue I'm having is um having to restart it as far as putting a new bolt in and threading it up uh, everything else was easy to get to uh, potentially um, but it's just this back there giving me an issue um, so I'm gonna probably call some friends and see what they had to do um, it looks like I can probably drop the subframe a little bit the front subframe and be able to or the engine cross member and be able to uh, get that but um, I'm gonna look up online and see what to do but yep so we are at a standstill again I'm just gonna let it leak out um, pretty much here's the oil pan and for the reason why I'm taking it off just I mean obviously that one's an upgrade over this one is that around the edges right here you can see or you probably can't see but it's uh, pretty dented up um, and it also looks like um, it was placed you know like at a at an importer you can tell that they place it on the ground and then when they move it they sort of just like you know sort of push it so you can tell like there's some scratches and deep gouges on the oil pan itself basically on the outer edges right here um see if i can get a close-up so it's pretty uh let me get this in focus real quick all right so here's a better look um there's a good dent right there about the size of my thumb and then just on the you know 
on the outer edges you can tell like it's been scraped up so as you can see there it is pretty scraped up um, and there's a pretty big dent right there you can tell right here and um, going more there's a little bit of a dent right here but I mean all of these are like minor dents that don't really affect the oil pan and the oil pickup um, but the funny thing is that I say that because um, I just found out I will show you um, once I get back under the car as you can tell the dents are all on the outside so the oil pickup is in this area right here so based on when you mount up the oil pan the oil pickup strainer will sit in this area right here um, and as you can see that one is okay okay it's not dented right okay even on the inside you know it's not banged out as what most will do is they'll um they'll dent up the oil pan and I mean it's a pretty strong pan as long as you don't bust a hole in it people will just bang this out bang the little imperfections out and call it a day slap it back on um, but as you can tell this area here it's pretty pretty symmetrical and flat not not messed up right now check this out alright so kinda hard to do this I don't have the tripod but I have the camera in one hand and a flashlight so here you go and if you can spot what I see then you know exactly why it was a good thing that I dropped the oil pan even though I was just trying to fix the leak um, yeah I don't know how the hell that happened but my old pickup is dented AF, yo. Check this out. Like, I don't know how that happened. Like, legitimately, my old pan is, is straight, except for the outer edges and not in the center. So I don't know how the hell that shit happened. So we are at a standstill now. I don't want to put the oil pan back on now knowing that that has a dented up oil pickup. So I'm going to go ahead and just order the oil pickup. And I guess it's a good time to upgrade because this is the older model red top. So I got that janky oil strainer that um, usually falls off. You hit a bump or you dent up your oil pan. That oil pan or the oil pickup actually falls off and um, just chills at the bottom of the oil pan. So I'm glad I caught it now. Then have to catch it later or potentially blow up my engine because I don't have any oil running through the system so there you have it it's a good thing I checked it so we're gonna go order the uh, oil pickup and uh, wait for that to come in so for now we're just gonna prep it out uh, clean it uh, I did clean these mating surfaces already so we are good to go All right so from this angle you can tell that the uh, oil pickup protrudes from this like windage tray so pretty much there are seven 10 millimeter bolts that need to come off um, in order for you to drop that tray. So we're going to take the seven 10 millimeter bolts off, drop the tray, and then we will be able to get access to the uh, two mounting bolts and the bracket bolt that hold the oil pickup to the engine. So, um, let me take those off. Again, I don't have my tripod, so it's kind of hard. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off and show you what that looks like. All right, so I got you guys on the uh, tripod. So now as you can see what I'm doing. So again, windage tray, oil pickup, um, and these are the seven 10 millimeter bolts you got to take off.
So that is the winded stray that comes down. Again, keep all your bolts together because they look very similar, if not the same as the 10 millimeter bolts holding the oil pan up. So let me go put this away. All right, and here we go. So, I'm a clean freak, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I'm cleaning this now, but then I still gotta wait for my freaking oil pickup to come in, cause I gotta order it. So, this is kind of useless, cause it's gonna get dirty again. All right, so let me go take the gloves, and I'm gonna show you what this thing looks like on the inside. All right, so there is the oil pickup. Um, you see those two bolts right there and in between the tubing that connects to the uh, oil strainer. So that right there is the connection point that bolts the oil pickup to the engine. And then, <laughs> luckily, I guess whoever did, whoever was here before me, I don't have the bolt that holds the oil bracket, the oil strainer, the oil pickup bracket to the car. So all I got is these two. The more you start finding out, what the hell? Alright, so anyways, there's supposed to be three, but I guess there's only two because whoever did it before me didn't want to put that bolt in. So, But anyways, uh, those two got to come off and then there's supposed to be, my bad. So those two got to come off and then the one right there is supposed to come off So for a total of three. It should be two bolts that bolt the oil pickup to the engine and one bolt that holds the bracket. So that's got to come off in order for you to drop the oil pickup. Um, and then when you get your new one, you uh, put it in reverse order. If you are modding to the S14 oil pickup, what's going to end up happening is the bracket location is going to be different so your two bolts are the same but the bracket location is different i believe the bracket location is going to be right up there so let me get a better okay there you go so you see that bolt right there I'm trying to so there's that bolt and then there's that screw hole with the oil about to drip so that right there is the new uh bracket mounting point so it's not going to be up here so for the older model red top srs it's going to be in this uh configuration and then if you mod it to the s14 you're still going to have the two that mount up to there but now your bracket's going to be mounting up to the back so i can understand why people are saying it's going to be hard to get there because you got to have really small fingers or a small hand to get in there because you have to compensate for the bracket swooping into that location and then you have to thread a bolt in so there you have it guys um we're gonna go ahead and drop the oil pickup call the wrap wait for the oil pickup to come in um when i order it which i already ordered it so we are just waiting for that oil pickup to come in the mail today is sunday i would assume it's going to be here by wednesday or thursday so we're going to go ahead and just uh try to make sure everything is kosher um, I might actually just bolt up the oil pan quickly just to not have this area exposed. Um, I don't want anything getting in here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I know it's kind of working backwards, but I wasn't expecting this to happen. So, uh, so yeah. Um, it's still pretty clean, I, I guess. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I don't know, it's kind of tarred up on the bottom. I think I want to rebuild it, but in due time, guys. For now, we're going to be just taking the small steps and making sure we do everything we can to keep this engine alive um, before we start throwing more boost at it. So, there you have it, guys. That's how you remove the oil pickup. Um, and pretty much, if you're going to do an oil pan, that's how you're going to take off the oil pan. Um, but, yeah. All right, so the bolts that hold down the... Uh, oil pickup to the engine um, are 12 millimeter bolts unfortunately I don't know the size of the uh, bracket bolt but I'm assuming it's a 10 because uh, 
bolt diameter size is a lot thinner. So once you remove that, all you gotta do is wiggle the oil pickup just like that, and your oil pickup is gone. Um, try to get a better view from underneath with the camera now. So with the older model S13, you want to make sure that you get this in focus. All right, so when you remove the oil pickup, you want to make sure that the O-ring is removed as well. So that right there um, is where the two bolts uh, go to to hold down the oil pickup strainer um, onto the engine. So make sure that the oil ring does come off. You don't want to double gasket. You're going to have some issues in the end, so make sure that comes off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back up top and show you the uh, oil pickup strainer. Um, in greater detail so just one second so you pretty much only have the tack welds holding the strainer to the pickup so this is where it fails if you bottom out you hit something real hard you dent up your pan the pan hits this uh, strainer and it, it's strong enough to damage the tack weld then this thing is going to be swimming around in your oil pan so we are upgrading to the S14, which is a redesigned oil strainer. And the opening for the oil strainer is a lot bigger, allowing for more oil to be picked up. And the bracket is redesigned, moving from this location to now being actually on the oil pickup itself, the strainer. So you're going to have the tube still in the same orientation. But no longer will you have the bracket to the tube. The bracket's going to be um, on the actual strainer here. So now you have two points of fixation to secure the oil strainer. All right, guys. There you have it. Um, that is how you drop your oil pan. That is how you remove the oil strainer, oil pickup. Um, if you guys are just purely wanting to know how to do that, there you go. I don't know if I mentioned it, but dropping the oil pan is a lot easier on the SR. Um, I believe, I don't know if I, if I had filmed it earlier, but I had some issues reaching the back three bolts um, on the oil pan and I figured out why. Um, I went to solid mounts and I believe the solid mounts are a lot lower or they're, I would say the profile of the mount is a lot lower than the OEM one. So my assumption is, is that it dropped my engine down just a little bit to where it became difficult to remove the bolts that secure the oil pan on the back end going towards the back um, so if you have OE mounts I don't think you're gonna run into that issue but if you do have uh, circuit sport mounts which is what I have you might run into the issue I, I just don't know if it's gonna span across the board but um, that was my issue I still have that issue I still gotta figure out how to get those bolts in there but um, it'll it'll get done so uh, again we are at a stop I'm not able to install the new oil pan only because that oil strainer is not going to go back in the engine. That's not going to happen. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're just waiting for new parts to come in. I already ordered them off camera. And um, what are going to do? We're at a standstill. So till next time, guys. And if you guys have been here from day one, you already know what time it is. Hype is for the moment and style is forever. Deuces.